Well, today I'm going to tell you a story about that time that I booked a campsite, went to go camping, couldn't go camping, decided not to go camping, decided to go camping, and ended up camping anyways. Here's what happened. Good morning. I am here at the uh, Frost Center on the Halliburton Highlands, uh, not too far from my house, and uh, I'm here to do a cold camping trip. I actually did my very first cold camping trip here. Um, it's supposed to be around minus 11 or minus 12 with the wind chill tonight, so not too bad. Um, got my backpack and uh, I'm going to be backpacking in to um, the campsite on St. Nora that I stayed on with Sue um, on our We Didn't Die trip uh, where we pulled our toboggans across the lake. Uh, the lakes are not frozen enough uh, for me in any way to attempt to do any of that, um, so I will be walking the trails and uh, staying on campsite number, I think it's 66. Uh, there's a few trails in the Halliburton water trails that you can actually hike into, um, and this is one of them. Um, so they're still open. Um, I checked with them yesterday or the day before, and um, they said no problem. There's nobody else here. Um, my car is the only one in the parking lot right now, and uh, this is actually, uh, I think, the only campsite in this area. Um, that you can uh, hike into. So um, I'm gonna get going. I got a bit of hiking to do. The start of the trail uh, is really, really icy. I put my crampons on again today. And the tote bag with my water in it. Didn't want to. Uh, strap it to my pack, so I'll just put it in a bag to carry it. Beautiful day. A little chilly, but otherwise just gorgeous. Sun is shining. No clouds in the sky. Just beautiful. Well, in no time I have reached my first cutoff. I think if I put it there, you can see it, otherwise it blanks it out to focus on me. Um, so now I'm heading down the steep rock trail, and it uh, shouldn't be that long before I get to the campsite. I know I have to do some up and downs. Uh, when I came here to do the cold camp a few years ago, um, I had my toboggan and uh, I had to walk on the lake at one point because the hills were just so steep. Um, the toboggan basically just flew down it and then almost went off a cliff. So I uh, had, had to watch out for that. So that's why I brought the backpack today and uh, no hot tent. Pretty. There's some really pretty icicles and stuff up here. Just a few left. So I'm coming up to the spot where uh, the toboggan <laughs> just went crazy when I was here on that cold camping trip. And uh, it's a lot of ice. And basically what I did was I walked out to the, the lake there and I just walked along it, um, which obviously isn't an option today. Um, I'm not going to film this because I don't have a death wish. And uh, it was very slippery. I do have my crampons on and uh, I haven't slipped or slid too much today so far. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, over with. <laughs> then I gotta climb up that side. It's pretty icy there too, so caution. <laughs> I think I might do the outside here uh, where the snow is a little bit softer and it's not icy and then just go through the leafy area and then up through that leafy area there. Here I thought I passed the hard part. 
Oh dear. It's pretty. Well, after um, traversing that really slippery uphill and downhill, I did okay because I walked along the edges and the pine needles. Um, but then I came to this spot and uh, this right here is ice and this is all on a slant. Um, it's really bad and uh, I threw a couple of like um, sticks and stuff there to kind of, see there's one there, and I put some pine needles down to kind of get some traction. Um, but I threw like a stick down about that size and it literally just went down and slid all the way down and that's pretty much where I'm gonna end up. I promised everyone I would be safe. I am camping alone. I'm out here alone. This is not safe and uh, there's really nothing I can do about this except go back and I can go all the way around. Um, probably be a five or six kilometers to go around to get to the campsite the other way. Um, tomorrow it's supposed to be snowing and raining and uh, that's just gonna make this slipperier, slipperier. So um, my thought right now is to abort the mission. Um, I'm not really sure what else I can do. Uh, this is all ice all the way through too. So um, I suppose I could go to um, Go Home Lake. Um, there's no way to do this safely. There just is no way to do this safely. And then who's saying when I get to there, that's all ice too. It's just too, it's just too dangerous um, for this time of year and for what's going on in the world. Um, I don't want to put anybody at risk trying to come and rescue me. So um, I've got to head back. That's all I can do right now. Yeah, I'm back now. I'm uh, back on the normal trail and uh, I'll have to figure out what to do from here. There are people walking on the lake, but I'm not doing it. Well, <laughs> it's a few hours later now, and I am at Go Home Lake. Um, after I left uh, Halliburton Water Trails, um, I was kind of sour. Um, I didn't really know of anywhere else. There's, there's not a lot of places there where you can hike into campsites. Um, so I called the office, no one was there. Um, so I left a message to notify them that the trail was impassable just to put it up on their website or whatever and uh, I had every intention of going home. Um, so on the drive home, uh, which is just over an hour for me, um, I decided that I was going to come here and give it a shot. So I stopped at my house on the way because it's, I have to drive right past it and um, I changed my underlayers because they were all hot and wet and sweaty because um, I was carrying around this thing for like, I don't know, an hour and a half or whatever it was that I was there. Um, so I did that, refilled my water bottle and uh, grabbed my shovel because there's no privies here. Um, so I'll need to dig something and uh, jumped in the car and came. I have everything packed. I was literally looking forward to my shrimp pasta tonight. I was really looking forward to being out camping. So I thought, you know what, I'll come here. It's like 15 minutes from my house and um, I thought I'll see what the parking lot looks like. If it's a zoo, then I might not stay, but I got here and there are two cars in the parking lot. Um, they could be people with cottages that are just nearby or snowmobiling, um, I'm not sure what. Or they could be people camping, but still only two people. It's not uh, that crazy. Um, it is a Sunday night, so maybe that's why, I don't know, but uh, I'm here and uh, I'm gonna get going, so I can go get a, a nice place to camp. Um, anyways, I'm gonna quit yapping and get on my way. Well, the trail conditions here are pretty good. Um, say trail, but it's actually a road. It's classified as a private road, um, but I was told by many people that it's not actually. They just put signs up to scare people away.
All right, I've been walking for about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. I actually went into the forest over here. Um, found some really nice areas, but you can see the road, um, which I think is going to be the same case if I go here. This is actually the spot where Sue and I camped um, without snow. Looks beautiful, so I imagine that it's nice and uh, clean up there without the snow, which is fine. Um, but you can see some water over here, and uh, I think if I go in here too deep, you'll be able to see the road still. So I'm going to see if I can find a spot over on this side somewhere. So much easier to do this without a toboggan. You can just walk wherever you want. <laughs> oh, I found a pretty nice area right beside a waterfall going into the lake. And uh, there's even a fire pit here. So I think I'm going to find a flat spot somewhere and set up my tent. Problem is there aren't too many flat spots, but I'm sure I can find one. I'm going to be up there. Sweet. This is actually nicer than the site that I was going to on St. Nora, so yay! Really, really pretty spot. Problem is, um, it's really hard to find a flat spot to put the tent. Um, found a whole bunch of firewood already and just kind of thrown it over by the pit. So that's not a problem. There's wood everywhere. I think I've settled on putting the tent up here. Uh, see what the flattest spot in the world. But it's decent. Um, the only other option would be down by the water. And there's a not too bad flat spot right there. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be too mushy. Um, this doesn't feel too bad. Uh, that spot seems to be the best. I think I'm going to put it down there. Pretty spectacular view from inside my tent. <laughs> Hoping to see a deer walking across the water, coming for a drink. That'd be awesome.
And as the sun dips behind the trees, the temperature starts to go down. <laughs> Brr. Well, it's 6.30 and um, I need to get dinner going. I'm actually starving for one and it's gonna start to get dark. Um, I noticed last night it was dusk at around eight. So um, I still have a bit of time, but uh, I wanna get this all done. I went and collected some more firewood over there, um, some bigger pieces that are dry and uh, I need to concentrate on making dinner right now. So today I'm going to make um, something very simple. Um, but yummy. Um, I have some water boiling and um, I will get the ingredients out and then uh, hit record again. The water was boiling. I just threw the pasta in. I didn't bring very much actually. I might have brought a little too little, but that's okay. I have some uh, stuffed puffs marshmallows, the last two out of the bag um, that I got sent to me by someone lovely. And um, I'm going to have those for dessert and maybe some chocolate covered almonds. So um, the pasta is cooking nicely, it won't take very long. Um, basically I'm just going to drain the water out. I have uh, the lid here, um, so basically I'll just put that on and just drain out most of the water. And then I'm going to put some butter in there, melt it. I've got some shrimp, um, I'm going to cook those. I might, I'll probably take the pasta out of the pan and put it in the other pan. Um, just like as a holding and then I'm going to uh, I'll saute the shrimp in um, I have roasted garlic powder and I have Roasted garlic flakes in here and some olive oil and some butter and some salt I will fry up the shrimp and the butter with the garlic and then just toss the pasta in and then put some shredded cheese on top I brought my little baby shredder and uh, that's it easy peasy Okay, there it is I'm going to eat it before it gets cold, because it gets cold really quick out here. Um, and uh, that's all there is to it. It smells amazing. I can't wait to eat it. See you in a bit. All right, let's give it a try. There it is. Yum. Mmm. So simple, but it's so good. All right, I'm going to go eat. So I'm just sitting here, I've um, got my little knife and uh, just sharpening a stick up so I can uh, roast those Stay Puff marshmallows. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm going to get uh, one of those marshmallows on there and get it in the fire and get it all nice and gooey and melt the chocolate in the middle. Yummy. The marshmallow looks very good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I forgot to do my recap. I'm in my bed. I'm all warm and cozy. Um, it's not too bad. It's only like minus two or something. I brought my little thermometer. It's outside. So um, it's not, not freezing, freezing. I got my hot water bottle here. And uh, I've got some hot pockets in my socks and uh, my nice fur hat on, so I'm pretty toasty warm. Um, crazy day. I'm like super tired. Uh, it's around 10 o'clock. It's really nice to hike in here without um, a toboggan um, because you can go anywhere. Like there's really, you know, a lot of options and uh, this site is really, really nice. So I'm happy I'm here. I'm happy I came. I'm not happy it's cold. My hand is freezing holding the phone, so I'm going to say goodnight. And um, yeah, I hope everybody's having a great day, great night, whatever you're doing. And uh, um, I'll see you tomorrow when I get up. Well, it's 6 in the morning and uh, woke up to a fresh coat of snow on my tent. And it is also snowing. Lovely. I got these uh, Hot Pocket warm-ups, whatever they're called, from the Dollarama. Um, and I put them in my socks at the bottom of my feet when I went to bed at like 10.30, I think it was. Um, and they're still piping hot, so really impressed with these. <laughs> Good morning. Well, it's about 6.30 and... Um, just like the Weather Network said, 
It is snowing. It started snowing around 4 a.m. and um, it's still snowing. Uh, it's supposed to warm up around 10 a.m., 11 a.m. and then it's going to turn to rain. So um, I'm going to lay down and go back to sleep for a little bit. It's not even daylight out yet and um, when I get up I'll probably just uh, make my oatmeal real quick and then pack up and head out because uh, obviously don't want to be out in the rain um, when it's like zero degrees or one degree, right? Um, I'm not cold at all actually. It says that it feels like minus seven right now or minus eight and um, I'm perfectly fine in here. So um, I uh, re uh, reboiled water for my hot water bottle at around 2 a.m. Um, the water was still hot at that time but I know that it doesn't last the entire night and I knew when I woke up at this point it would probably just be lukewarm um, and it wasn't snowing or raining at that point so I thought you know what I'm wide awake I couldn't sleep I was probably up from I don't really think I slept from like when I tried to go to sleep at 11:30 till till 2 <laughs> um, I just couldn't sleep I had a really bad headache and um, I just couldn't sleep so I thought you know what I'm gonna make use of this time I'm gonna get up I'll walk around you know um, get a little chilly outside and boil some water which I did and I actually wasn't chilly um, and then I came in and I had my nice hot 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 water bottle and uh, I actually fell asleep I think at 3 o'clock finally so um, it's just 6 30 so I've only had like three or four hours of sleep um, <clears throat> I don't feel too bad I still have my headache but it's not as bad so um, I'm going to go back to sleep for a little while and just let the snow fall and um, stay nice and cozy in my tent. Hi. Well, it's 8 o'clock. I'm still in my cozy bed. It's so nice and warm in here still. Um, those hot pockets on my feet are still hot. Um, the hot water bottle is still uh, hot-ish. It's more warm than hot hot, but still nice. And uh, oh, sorry. Oh. I woke up at quarter after seven again and I was like, I don't think it's snowing right now. I should get up and get packed. And um, I kind of rolled over and went back to sleep. So um, I'm just so nice and warm and toasty in my bed. And uh, meh. the only real rush is trying to get out of here before I think 11 or 12 when it starts raining. So um, it's not a huge race. Anyways, um, I've got my stove right outside the tent here and uh, my pot. I just have to go grab my food bag and uh, I'll just boil some water right here. Sorry, I didn't sleep very much. I'm really tired. I could probably just close my eyes and go to sleep for another hour, which um, I'm thinking about doing, but meh. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna boil some water, make some oatmeal, and uh, I'll just eat while I'm packing up and then uh, hit the road. Well, it's snowing quite a bit. Um, I'm out of the tent, <laughs> just going to grab my food bag and uh, gonna boil some water, make some oatmeal. I'm starving. Oh, I've got the stove on, boiling the water. Shouldn't take very long. And uh, got some apples and cinnamon oatmeal and some dehydrated peaches to put in there. Yummy. All right, there's my oatmeal, and uh, it smells delicious. I'm just waiting until it fluffs up a little bit. And I sit here and enjoy my view and have my breakfast. I'm all packed up and ready to go. So uh, it's a great campsite. I really, really liked it. And uh, I just got to make my way back to my car. Quite a bit of snow fell since I got here yesterday. And uh, it's actually made the, the walk a little bit better than it was on the way in. It's a lot more uh, a little tacky and squishy. So that's good. 
Well, I'm curious to see how, uh, how far I was actually in. Um, someone I was talking to yesterday said two kilometers. Um, I can kind of get a rough idea by the time it takes me to walk um, based on like portages and stuff. So, um, although you have to walk, I am still walking pretty tediously on this uh, ground cover. It's kind of like fresh snow on top of ice and packed snow, so. Um, but uh, I'll see what, what time it is when I get back to the car. I'm so happy I came. What a difference between yesterday and today though. It's like two different seasons in one trip. <laughs> Well, I'm almost back to the road. Um, that'll take me to the parking lot. Um, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably about a kilometer and a half, maybe two kilometers in. Um, took me like a half hour or so from the campsite, um, including the little bit that I have to take to get back to the car still, maybe not even five minutes, so. Great trip, super, super happy I went. Um, there was a point there yesterday where I was just going home and I was gonna say forget it. So I'm really glad that I came out. Uh, might be my last chance to get out for a while. And uh, just want everyone to know I am being very, very safe. I am only 15 minutes from my house. Um, I have three jerry cans of gas and a full tank of gas in my car. Um, I could probably like live sufficiently on my own without going to a store or anything for like a month or two. Um, I have lots of supplies at my house. I've always been uh, someone who's prepared for stuff. And uh, if I include all my backpacking food, I probably have even more. So i um, not stopping anywhere. I haven't seen anyone. I'm not seeing anyone. Um, just coming from here to my house and back. And uh, there's no, no intermingling with anyone or anything like that. So as far as that all goes, um, I don't believe I'm doing anything incorrectly. I'm not spreading any infections. I don't have the virus as far as I know. And uh, I, I uh, promise to keep my pages free of all of that. I'm trying to keep my pages as happy and uh, virus free as possible. So people can just come there and enjoy nature like always. And uh, social media is just ridiculous right now. So um, I'm just making my posts and mo more or less staying off of it. So. I hope everyone is safe. I hope everyone is healthy. And um, hopefully we get through this soon. And uh, hopefully my next trip is a canoe trip. So I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.